Hi everybody, this is Ms. Nelson and today we are doing Lesson 2.12 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 2.12 is solving multi-step problems using equations. So the thing that we need to know about solving these problems is the order of operations, which means what problems do you do in which order. So here is the rule. First, you multiply and divide from left to right and then you'll add and subtract from left to right. So when I'm looking here at problem number two on my paper, I want to see what, what kind of math I am doing first. So I have, let me get my color here. I have a multiplication, I have an addition, I have a multiplication and a subtraction. So since I know I'm either going to multiply or divide first, I'm going to start here on the left with 7 times 38 because that's my first multiplication problem. So when I work out 7 times 38, I get 266. And then from this point, I just have to write out my problem the way that it was up at the top. So I just did my first multiplication problem and then I'm keeping everything else the same for now. Equals n. So now when I look I have an addition, I have a multiplication, and I have a subtraction problem left to do. So our rule is still multiply or divide from left to right first. So this multiplication problem right here is my next problem. So I'm going to copy down my 266 and my plus sign and then I'm going to do this multiplication problem. 3 times 45 is 135. So I write that down and then I just finish writing out my multiplication sentence the way that it was. Minus 56 equals n. Okay, so now I look and I have an addition sign and a subtraction sign. So I'm going to go from left to right. So my first problem now is going to be 266 plus 135. So 266 plus 135 is 401. And then I just finished writing out my problem the way that it was. So minus 56 equals N. I only have one problem left, the 401 minus the 56, and that is 345. Okay, so just to recap, order of operations is multiply and divide, go first, and you always go from left to right in your problem. Then after you finish all the multiplication and division problems, you will start on your addition and your subtraction problems going from left to right in the order in which they appear in your problem. So I'm going to do one more. Number three says 6 times 21 plus 7 times 29 minus 83. So I, I'm going to first look for a multiplication or division problem going left to right. Left to right, my first one that I see is 6 times 21. When I do 6 times 21, that gives me 126. And then I just fill in the problem with the numbers that are left. So plus 7 times 29 minus 83 equals n. Okay, then I look at my problem again and I'm still looking to see if I have any multiplication or division problems. So I have an addition, then a multiplication, then a subtraction. So since I see another multiplication problem, I'm going to do this next, which means I everything else stays in the same place where it started. So 126 plus stays in the same place. 7 times 29 is 203. So I'll write that there. 
and then the rest of my problem stays the same. So minus 83 equals n. So now when I look at this step of my problem, I don't see any more multiplication or division problems. So now I'm going to look for addition or subtraction going from left to right. So my first one going from left to right is 126 plus 203. 126 plus 203 gives me 329. And then the rest of my problem, I just copy down the way that it was. So I have minus 83 equals N. Now I only have one problem left. 329 minus 83. 329 minus 83 is 246. So my N equals 246. All right, I hope that makes sense. You need to remember the order of operations. First, look for multiplication and division going from left to right in your problem. Second, you'll do the addition and subtraction going from left to right in your problem. All right, thanks. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the box below. Thank you.